let's put all of this together. We've looked at amplitude period, phase shift, and vertical shift. Now let's look at them all at once. So moving left to right, this constant A is controlling the amplitude. And the next constant B is controlling the period. And the next constant to C is controlling the phase shift, either left or right. We traditionally write subtraction here, but it could be subtraction or addition. And this last constant D controls a vertical shift, either up or down. Again, we traditionally write addition, but we could have addition or subtraction. Let's look at an example. Here's a sinusoidal function. And let's read these properties off. And as we do, let's look at this on Desmos. The amplitude is the absolute value of three. Of course, three was already a positive. Over here, here's the sign, and that amplitude turns to three. The period is two pi divided by four. So pi divided by two. If we go over to Desmos, B is currently one, the period is a two pi. As B increases, the period shrinks until B is four, and the period is pi divided by two. The phase shift is given by this three. And because we are subtracting, it's going to be a three units to the right. So at the moment, we don't have any phase shift, but we'll start increasing C. And as C increases, we go to the right. And we keep going until we're three units to the right. Only one thing left to go. Our vertical shift is a two. And we've got addition, so that's a two units up. 
At the moment, we don't have any vertical shift, but we start to increase D and the curve goes up. And here's a D equals a two. So we, to create a graph like this, or at least to create one pen and paper, you just find each of the properties one by one, like we did here. And this is the graph of the curve that we were looking at. 